On my BT9 tier list, I put Grannis in tier 2, and quite a few of you weren't happy with that. Someone in particular took quite an objection to that, however. So Tefrey had been anti-tasty, and almost as a matter of fate, we were matched up round 2 in the, in the Top Cut Regional event. So this is the decisive battle. Will it really be tier 2? Can I prove it with where Gaburumon X? I'm just kidding, it's all for fun. You're watching Taste the Victory. Hey guys, usually this would be just the audio from the game with some music behind it, but uh, apparently I did not have audio from my desktop recorded during this uh, tournament session, so unfortunately I'm gonna have to... So unfortunately we don't have that audio. So we're gonna go ahead and do post commentary, which is still very good and insightful. This is against Tefrey, as mentioned in the beginning of the video, and I'm playing where Garurumon X while he is playing Grandis. We digivolve up to the Garurumon and Raising, and then um, we go ahead and play out the Cool Boy. Cool Boy does grab us the one thing there, and it's a really great card because even if it does whiff you, it makes up, even if it does miss its search, it makes up for it way later by being able to gain back memory and dig deeper for the pieces you are missing for basically turning a free digivolution into a plus in memory. So Cool Boy is really amazing. You want to get those kind of tamers set up in the early game where there's less pressure and your opponent's still building up as well. So our opponent digivolves up to level 5, the Okuamon I believe, and he has a Mimi out. So that is Tefrey, uh, has really good uh, build right there. They are, I believe, at one more memory, and I think they, uh, was that me that I just passed? That is really rough for me there. Looks like they didn't have much else to do, they just passed, that's rough. They go into uh, Grandispawn. They go into Grandis Kuagamon, so that is huge. He just digiverts all his sources away, so I believe that gives him plus two, maybe three checks right now. Digivolves into the uh, Grand, into the uh, Grandis Kuagamon, my bad, that was Grand Kuagamon into Grandis, uh, and then he taps Mimi to make sure he has an egg. He checks for three total checks, getting us a blue memory boost, which is very nice in the process to get if we're able to live again. He unsuspends, I guess, to swing again, because that's what just Grandis does. It's just absolutely devastating security checks. So here, we basically have to pray that he does not have a hybrid, because he's still putting us at one memory here. That is ridiculous after doing all that, not even getting us a lot of memories to play with is really stressful. However, we do have the blue memory boost we were looking to see in security so that'll let us go up to three and actually be able to make serious plays we're gonna go ahead and swing we do have the battle protection underneath it i believe i think actually i think we don't i don't believe so so that is kind of unfortunate there yeah it doesn't look like we have it went ahead and risked the swing but it was fine uh not sure what's happening there since he's, he's fine i think he just thought i went into middle garu but then we're gonna go into where garu x to get the two additional checks with the dp boost from where garu being 8,000 plus all the sources i'm a little more confident with it living in security checks but either way you can see a really good example of the bt9 meta here which is both instantly by like what is this turn three turn four we're both instantly at zero security that's how aggressive and i'm not even at my level six yet or i'm just at a level five and then we passed turn by giving uh, him exactly three memory because luckily we didn't have to spend much more uh to go into our work our so he gets to kai's breath and return it to hand so we basically have to pray that he does not see a hybrid or is not able to climb up to a level five in time to push out another uh card for lethal with mimi he does have the stack in the back and he's going to go ahead and scoop because since that digimon was played that turn it can't swing so he just has to pass turn i swing next turn and we got game so we're going to head and take game one grandness is a scary matchup because while it is a bricky color in green just have it, if you see the pieces that's it you don't care what inheritables you have you can just just, just start digi bursting away and swinging for so many checks right away so we're going next to game two and i digivolve uh it looks like they went first going up to a kokuamon and a tamer give me a bunch of memory to work with we digivolve the Gabumon in the back and we play a blue memory boost revealing the top four we grab the level two so we can continue the digivolution line i'm assuming i didn't have one at the time we did evolve up into that Guru Mind, and we're going to go ahead and give him his 3 memory because he does have a memory tamer, so there's not much we could do in terms of choking there. He goes ahead and plays down another Kakua Mon X, which is a searcher, revealing the top 3, letting him grab something else and an insectoid, but the other card isn't uh, relevant because I think the other half is um, is a machine or something like that, so he can only grab insectoid. So he gets another one. He's going to, looks like he's going to grab the level 5 base form or the except right. So it looks like he grabbed the base Kakua Mon there instead of Kakua Mon X, bottom deck and the rest. So he's bricking early game, which is what we're seeing here, because he has to play out two searchers which is giving us a lot of possibility to climb without worrying about the comeback from him and making an explosive turn next turn. So go ahead and Digimon for free into Guru Mon X. That is what offers us battle protection. Here, I don't have anything else really to do. So I'm just going to card slam a rookie since we have the memory for it and Digivolve into Guru Mon to hopefully cycle into something that we do want to see. We're going to go ahead and swing into security and ship with the Kakua Mon. That gets deleted to Omi Mon and that gets deleted to the Guru, where Guru Mon promo. So they're finally seeing their level four, it looks like. So they Digivolve into it and they go into their Kakua Mon, putting us at 
two, it looks like. So we do have the blue memory boost, means we, meaning we technically have four memory to work with here. So he is a pretty... So he's had a slow time building up here. However, the thing is, with three security, it is very much possible that he has lethal right now because Grand Kawagamon could go into Grandis, swing, uh, digiburst everything away, go into Grandis, swing for three checks on Spen, and do the final checks, depending on our security, to be fair, because that could potentially mess him up. But we have to be aggressive here because, like I said, this is potential lethal from him. So we have no blockers in this deck until we get to the level six. So we're going to see if we can get up to that. But yeah, we are um, up to that. We... Um, Digivolve with the X Antimony option underneath it to go into where uh, Garu X without the uh, without the um, where Garu regular. I think I was just like um, breaking here and I wanted to get back up into the security race because now yeah I'm just swinging with everything. So I think I just genuinely don't have a top end here and I had the promo Garu Mon underneath the where Garu so I could at the very least with my swings draw into what I need. So here we reveal the um, top three and that is a misplay. I think n neither of us caught it because it, it can only grab Garu Mons. So I would have had to grab the um. Had to have grabbed the uh, the Guru Mons that were revealed in that. It can't grab Gabumon X. At least I don't think so. I don't. I don't remember off the top of my head right now. So I don't see. Uh, neither of us really caught it. So that's a misplay. I'm only kept noticing here while reviewing the footage. So that's unfortunate. I definitely got to remember what grabs what in these decks. My opponent pushes out. He has the Kakua X, which is suspending one of our Digimon. So our entire board is suspended right now. And I do believe we are under that Ice Wall mini Ice Wall effect right now because he digivolved into an Insectoid off of the other Kakua Mon. Uh, or Okua rather, he reveals the level 3 in security, so no fear there. I think he would have been pretty far behind if he had died to security, so that's kind of a risky swing. But with this deck, I am presenting lethal practically, depending on how much memory he gives me with how explosive uh, Metal Garurumon can be. So I totally understand why I to just get caught up in the security race. So... Right here, we digivolve into the Gabu X in the back, so not as explosive as being able to go over a uh, previous um, uh, of the Gabu that was on the field previously. We digivolve up into the Metal Garu to bounce his Kukua because it uh, bounces the lowest level on the field to hand. Since that was the only thing, it gets bounced. He goes up to four. He goes to four memory, pushes out. Uh, Digivolves into Kokua, Okua X. All these names are really similar. That does suspend our guy. So even though he is a blocker, he now has potentially lethal here if he's able to go into Grand Kawagamon and then Grandis without passing turn, uh, which doesn't seem to be possible. It seems he could go into Grandis and then Digiburst once to be able to um, clear our security, but he won't be able to go into Grandis, the, the level X, anti X antibody version, because uh, that would put us at least one memory. He plays Ground Fang, returning our guy to the bottom of the deck. So that is huge right there returning to the bottom of deck uh, because it was suspended it's basically like a new kind of removal for green in this set that's huge because now we don't have the pressure to potentially put lethal i don't think we had lethal anyways because metal garumon doesn't unsuspend itself and i don't think we have enough memory to really um digivolve otherwise if he had choked us so he had to kind of do that play to get another turn there we go up to a garumon putting us at three memory we go up to the free um, Garuru X, which gives us battle protection, and we do have the Wear Garuru Mon. I'm wondering if I top deck that off of the thing. So we are under, unfortunately, the um, Okuamon mini ice wall effect here, so I can't go and swing into the um, uh, into the uh, Wear Garuru X with the X antibody, unfortunately. <laughs> And right there was the misplay. You guys did see the misplay alert. I don't know why on earth I am swinging into security when I could have just did, uh, swung into the stack instead. Because that is a, um, it's only 8k and I have DP boosting, I do believe, from the Inheritables. I would have been able to swing over it. He would have only had one Digimon left with three memory. I really don't believe he would have been able to climb up into his Mega in time to be able to restand and all those shenanigans to get that last security check. So here he is very scared of swinging. He was like thoughtful throughout the entire turn because he's scared of that last kite is costing him lethal so i mean i guess there's that maybe that was a psychological thought was like maybe my security will save me here that that was just like a huge misplay no matter what you should have cleared board because i didn't have a way to go for lethal there because of his uh cool effect previously the plan was to digivolve up into middle garu after all my swings to bounce that and then have a blocker so i don't have to worry about lethal but i guess i just didn't take that play through because like if you can't present um if you can't go for lethal that very turn you should be focusing on clearing board and that is a lesson learned the hard way here because that is getting, taking us to a game three 
Here we have Digivolved. Uh, we went first Digivolving all the way up to Garuru, giving our opponent two memory to work with. He Digivolves into the Kakuamon for one, putting him at one memory. So that makes it a little bit of an awkward threshold, the, the fact that you have to pay memory to one to a rookie, but it is a really powerful one. And he does have the free Digivolution follow up with the X Antibody version. Goes into Weedmon, putting him at zero memory. So now this is actually kind of interesting. He's going to have to give me a lot of memory one way or another, but he does have the Cool Boy, so it doesn't end up being too much. It's a full two, and it does whiff, unfortunately, sending all three of those targets to the bottom. So that's the thing that kind of sucks about Cool Boy. It'll happen once in a while, but like I said earlier in the video, you do get the memory paid back in full, like way later when you Digivolve for free and get a draw. So here we play it right. We grab the Metal Garu. It seems like we've learned since then. So that Metal Garu minus it doing us too much. I'm assuming I don't have a level five here since I'm not Digivolving up into it, just choking him at one, searching for pieces. It looks like it's evolved into the uh, Okuamon that puts us back to two. We're just going to go ahead and sack this to get a security swing. That will delete it because it's a rookie. You're kind of just expecting that. We play the blue memory boost, putting him back to one again because we are just searching. We need that level five. It looks like we hit it. Hopefully we have to wear Garu X in hand because I don't remember off the top of my head because unfortunately we have the bottom deck one in the same search, which is always kind of annoying when you get a bunch of really good cards. You don't know what to pick off the search, but we needed a level five there. We do luckily see it while also keeping him choked at one. So he's not going to be able to go into Grandis this turn and do a bunch of checks at the very least. However, he does have the uh, cool boy, so I guess he could potentially move out, go into the X version, gain a memory going to two, and then Digivolve into Grandis, putting us at one. But we do have the blue memory boost to play around that, so we're not too afraid about that. You can see there, they're thinking their playthrough to see what is the next best possible play. I wonder if they're going to play like a searcher, or like a rookie searcher, like Kakuamon X, just to have that search. So he does move out. I wonder if he's going for the play we're describing right now. Because this was at the Top Cut Regional, so this is like two or three weeks ago now. I'm not too remembering, not too well remembering right now. But yeah, he does go up into that, putting him at two memory. He, we are under the Ice Ball effect now, so you have to be careful with that when swinging. And he could potentially go into Grand Kuwagamon now to put us at one. But that does put his stack in danger. So instead he's going to go wide, he's going to search. Maybe he doesn't even have it. He reveals the Grand Disc Kuwagamon, which is the X antibody version of it. Putting us at one, which is okay in the scenario. Because we at the very least have the blue memory boost to guarantee us three memory to go into where Garu X without passing turn. Or rather, a regular where Garu. But we are under the effect, so I'm just going to go ahead and pass turn, putting him back at one. We do see the X antibody and Garu X, so that is mad value. I wonder if I was waiting for that to see the full stack so I don't have to worry about anything in security. Because now we can move out, go into the X antibody version, get a memory off of Cool Boy, and draw for anything we may still be missing, and have the antibody option underneath it. So we're seeing the full combo right now. So that's pretty huge. However, this is a really scary position. He did you burst away two Digimon, and that would uh, put him at three checks. Unspend for three more and then um, go for game with the rookie. So this is honestly, I think this prevents, this presents lethal to us. So we kind of have to hope that he can't do it, which is why we put him at one with the cool boy choking him. So that way, like there's no realistic way he could possibly go into Grand Kuwagamon without passing turn here. And he, if he does that, you know, if he wants to pass turn into the Grand Kuwagamon, he is risking putting that stack in danger because I could potentially just bounce it and he just lost an entire stack he invested more into when he could have just built up the second guy in uh, that cool, cool Mon, you know, started digivolving up that instead to diversify or even play another rookie since I can't really have ex like super wide removal on this deck. It's not something um, Grand Kuwagamon, or rather, where Garu is good at. Digivolves up to Kokua and then Kokua X to get those straws. I'm wondering if he has the grandness and he's just looking for Grand Kuwagamon, like he just can't find it. He, he just like pushed out earlier in the game to probably try and get the dig off of cool boy he swings revealing the promo uh guru monster that does delete it luckily for him it wasn't a tamer or anything crazy value like that he does have the x antibody so i wonder if he's gonna go for a swing here and then pass turn it looks like that's exactly what he did playing paying the full three you know going giving us three memory which is now five potentially six to work with oh and the second check kaid is bouncing the last hope of of survival there so that is so painful because he would have been able to unsuspend, I do believe. So I wouldn't have been able to threaten him unless I have Metal Garo to evolve up into. So that is really unfortunate. I think that is all but going to steal the game right now because we have four memory, technically six with the blue memory boost to play with here. We have the full protection line. Uh, we have accent to option. We are going to delay that. I wonder what kind of shenanigans we're going to go up to here. I wonder if that break point was like enough memory I needed to be able to like swing for games and stuff. We do go into it. We're going to swing for free, um, get a... Um, let's spend off of that. No, no fear because we have the battle protection. Put the X antibody option underneath to digivolve on swing into where Garu X and on suspend. So that is now two checks because the inheritable off of where Garu on promo. I have more than eight cards in hand. That is two checks. He does reveal the cool boy bottom decks. No, nothing. He actually gets the grandest squad one. He does get it. So he bottom decks two other cards. Uh, so we have two more checks here. And because of the memory threshold, I am one short, unfortunately, of going into. 
um, Metal Guru Mon for game here. I would need one more since it is a four cost, unless I have the X1, which I don't, but we put him at one memory. So again, the constant choking is huge here. The fact that he doesn't have a Mimi to guarantee him three memory is gigantic and lets us get away with so much greedy plays because we get to just choke him and give us so much momentum on our end. He is simply at a rookie here, so there's very little he's gonna do. I think he just ends up scooping here because if he digivolves even into Weedmon, then like there's no X version. He's just gonna pass turn. So he just puts the text down and he is going to concede, giving us game here. Because he has a zero security, just pass the turns, and I win next turn unless he has a one cost blocker. I know Kabuteri is popular here, but yeah, he's just gonna did you all pass, and that is going to be game. So that seals the deal. Grand Kuagamon Grandis is officially tier two as part of the bet. No, it's all fun and games. It's all fun and games. I think it's a fantastic deck that can definitely compete in tier 1.5. I just think the reason I put it on the tier list in that place is just because like I think a lot of the top upper decks do what it does a little bit better because green is not a good draw color for a deck that needs so many pieces you know blue has ridiculous draw power in comparison but it's all fun and games i stand by my tier list placement but like this deck this duel doesn't decide anything it's all fun and games so i hope you guys enjoyed it thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video remember to stay hungry until you get a taste of victory